So we've been having these short guys here. They're, it's fairly cold. It's uh, Friday the 13th of January. And these, these short, these jets with these sort of short contrails, this is not a flight pattern either. It's not a commercial flight pattern typically. Uh, now that is a crisscross right there. So it's crisscrossed uh, from some other jet trails. The jet trails are not lasting as long as they normally do. The geoengineering trails. You can see there's also lines here from the trails. And so that jet right there is not making a very long trail at all. These lines over here, you can see crisscrosses. You can see some uh, grid patterns right there. Um, and there is possibly a tower that is manipulating some of the spray materials to produce weather events. And we look off the coast here and we see that there are lines of sprayed material here as well. So that's your weather report for today. Thanks, thanks for watching. And tell your friends that they should disclose their ingredient for weather modification and they should also uh, give the public information on the plans they have for geoengineering. So this jet here almost seems different, kind of a different uh, seems a different mix of sprays because um, the trail is longer um, you can look this up if you want it's commonly called uh, solar radiation solar radiation management geoengineering stratospheric aerosol injection uh, typically they will use barium, coal ash, chalk to spray these materials. And so I have presented a formal re resolution to all the uh, local elected officials here in my county to request consent before they conduct any geoengineering uh, programs or weather modification programs here in the county and uh, one elected official has asked me to find out who is responsible for this geoengineering programs and apparently NOAA uh, the Navy the Air Force are responsible but uh, to find a particular name uh, is uh, sort of uh, throwing me for a loop um, as well um, one has asked me one elected official has asked me um, to prove object uh, 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 scientific objective scientific proof that these jets are making weather patterns and creating storms etc now, uh, Dr. M Nick Baggage has written a book. It's called uh, Angels Don't Play This Harp. It's, it's all about the high aural active research program where they uh, shoot uh, radio frequency up into the barium clouds, uh, barium strontium clouds here, and produce weather effects. And so, yeah, it's, it's all out there. And for me to have to educate 
an elected official uh, it seems sort of ridiculous, but I will if I have to. And as a matter of fact, I've been doing that for the last um, probably at least two years. And I have one elected official is interested if we can get other people, uh, other counties to uh, ask for uh, permission by the public to uh, create these programs. But uh, my one elected official is only interested if I can find someone else or some other county, some other state that has produced some sort of um, uh, legislation regarding the uh, public consent and or local government oversight regarding this matter. And so this is typically the way they do it. They'll spray against the backdrop of the sun basically so it's hard, hard to see. Now, if people are looking up toward the sun, they will tend to see the sprays. Um, and it's usually this way where they tend to spray uh, so that if you're looking toward the sun, which people try to avoid the sun most, most of the time because the UV rays are pretty intense nowadays. And, from what I understand, these sprays also deteriorate the ozone layer. It's sort of a the pharmaceutical cure for uh, the global warming situation, from what I understand, on one level at least. And so basically it's the suppression of the symptom. The symptom is global warming. The suppression is global dimming, spraying aluminum, barium, strontium, chalk, coal ash, things like that. And they can also be doing biological weapons testing um, as history has shown us. And as well, if you don't believe in weather modification programs, all you have to do is Google uh, barium clouds, uh, stratospheric aerosol injection, um, solar radiation management, Project Popeye, Project Storm Fury, and you'll find a lot of information about the weather modification programs. And so, I, I am not a rocket scientist. I'm just a person who likes to be outside, and I've been researching this for the last three years. Um, I grew up basically uh, loving the beach. When I was 15 or so, I'd love to go to the beach. And one of the things you do at the beach is surf. And when you surf, you look at the weather conditions. If it's blown, blowing um, from the ocean to the uh, shore, then it's not normally a very good day to go surfing. So I was constantly aware of the weather conditions since I was young, um, maybe 16 years old. I've been constantly aware of the weather conditions love to be outside, go surfing and biking and things like that. So I, I'm just an observer and I've done a lot of research on the internet and you can do some too. Uh, search HARP, High Oral Active Research Program, which is basically a program that manipulates these sprayed materials in our skies to produce weather events the uh, multinational corporations deemed appropriate. Now they can control crops, storms, um, if they have, if they want to they can produce freezing temperatures or drought conditions and if you have stock in your local utility companies, you know, they're probably in between there somewhere. And so, yeah, that's their motive, basically. And they would rather not have you know about it. They would rather have you distracted by political events, comedians, and rock and roll, drugs, and sex 
rather than look up and face reality. And so, yeah, they would not, they would rather not have you know about this. And that's why there's a whole complete disinformation program and a federal gag order for whether uh, people to read scripts according to the way they want them. And we can see off over here, we see the lines. These are the scalar electromagnetic flux lines that there are, uh, is the evidence of the electromagnetic or microwave or radio frequency uh, manipulation of these sprayed materials. And basically they can push, pull, or condense these sprayed materials again according to the way they want to produce any weather event that will make them money and or give them greater control over the people who are once again persuaded from even questioning the fact that they are spraying toxic materials in the air just simply for the control so we see a little bit of lines here the zebra lines I call them scalar whatever electromagnetic microwave action on on this sprayed material here and then over here we have completely dark skies. We can see some lininess over here as well. So this cloud bank, whatever, haze bank, geoengineered fog bank, it just passed over. And now we have this blazing sun, as you can see, and it's pretty darn intense. And so something isn't quite right with this picture can you figure it out supposedly the Sun is uh, the ozone layer is so thin right now that the Sun is pumping out like a lot more UV rays than normal and one of the problems is that the quick pharmaceutical fix, the geoengineering sprays, is eating away the ozone layer. And so, yeah, we either have dark, hazy skies or blazing summer skies. Yeah, and that actually irritates my eyes to even look in that direction. So, uh, yeah. That's what's happening.